Hey Janice, how's it going? Mopar Mike from Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. Wanted to do a quick video for you, just give you a quick overview of a couple of differences in uh, the different models, uh, so you can take a look and uh, make some decisions uh, before you even uh, come to the dealership or have your grandson come. So uh, let's just get into it. Uh, behind me here is a uh, Jeep Compass Latitude, and I'm gonna flip it over here for you real quick. So you can see here, it's got some nice chrome in the grill. You got aluminum alloy wheels. Looks nice. But this is a more basic compass. So when you look inside, you're actually going to see this has a split inter interior. You have basically a, a cloth insert and this is actually a vinyl exterior on the seat but you know it still looks really nice and then if you look over here you do have a seven inch uh touch screen radio um this you know when you turn the vehicle on you will see it has a uh, uh it has am fm xm you do have your bluetooth um and i'll show you some of those things in just a second Okay, so now looking inside the interior, you're, you're going to see here, you know, got the steering wheel, it is leather wrapped, nice instrument cluster display. Here's that radio again I was just speaking about, it's a 7-inch uh, touchscreen radio, you have all of your uh, options on the bottom, so you have your radio, your media, your climate, your apps, controls, your phone, and your settings. Uh, like I uh, was uh, s stating in the email, uh, this does not have built-in navigation, but you do have it accessible through your Apple CarPlay uh, when you connect uh, your device, whether it's a, uh, well, an, for Apple CarPlay, it would be with an Apple device. Um, if he has an Android phone, then he would have the Android Auto. Both of them essentially do the same thing, and he will have access to navigation through that, which will stream directly onto the screen. Um, and if he uses maps like Google Maps, anything like that, he'll have live nav you know, traffic as well. Um, looking down here, he does have analog buttons as well for you know your AC, all that kind of stuff like that, and also four-wheel drive settings. Four-wheel drive, he does have the ability to adjust his four-wheel drive between uh, snow, sand, and mud. Snow is awesome, it adjusts uh, the torque ratio, uh, giving more traction to the front wheels, which is where the majority of the vehicle's weight is, uh, which will help him stay you know, uh, glued to the road when it's slippery out. So I can go over those things a little bit more in detail with him, but you do have here you know, your 12-volt DC outlet here. So that opens up shifter you have the uh, uh, stop start system I'm just gonna try to get this to focus a little bit better here there you go the smart uh, the stop start system here uh, that's uh, uh, to help conserve fuel a lot of vehicles have it these days uh, basically when the vehicle comes to a complete stop the motor is actually gonna shut off and then as soon as he takes his foot off the brake it will re-engage if he does not like the feature he just simply presses this button and then it won't do it you also have an electronic uh, emergency brake, so uh, no longer are the days where you accidentally uh, drive around with your emergency brake on. The vehicle will not let you do it. Very simple. So that is basically it. Now Janice, I did want to show you one more. Uh, the vehicle by, behind me here is actually a certified pre-owned vehicle. It has just over 11,000 miles on it. Um, this one is coming in just around $22,000, so there is a nice savings compared to you know purchasing a brand new one for about $28,000, $29,000. Um, this one uh, you'll notice, and I'm going to flip the camera around here real quick for you. So you're going to notice a couple different things. The first thing is, is that the wheels are black and also the roof is black. Um, so that is uh, a couple different uh, options. Now this is a Jeep compass latitude with an altitude package which uh, the altitude package means you get a blackout package so that basically focuses in on the wheels which you're going to see very nice very sharp looking the vehicle badging which is also blacked out then some other details is whereas you see a lot more chrome on your regular latitude this one 
your front grill, your seven slotted grill is all blacked out now and you also have a blackout package inside the headlights. The black roof is actually not a part of the altitude package but is rather what they call a two-tone paint group. But this does give some excellent accents to the vehicle. And you'll see, you know, ultimately it's very sharp. Other than the blackout package, the altitude package, um, it's essentially a latitude. So opening up the vehicle here, you're going to see the seats are pretty much exactly the same. This particular vehicle does have a uh, even more basic radio system than in the other latitude, uh, but that doesn't mean that we can't find pre-owned altitudes that do have the seven inch display. This is just the one that I'm showing you right here. Um, but you still have your leather wrapped steering wheel. All the other controls are the same. And this one will still have, you know, your Bluetooth will still have backup camera. It just won't have uh, access uh, to the uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. All right, Janice, well, I hope this has helped you in terms of, uh, you know, you and your family figuring out which options are important to you, um, whether or not you want to go with the latitude or the altitude, um, whether or not you want to go, you know, new or pre-owned. Uh, we have, you know, all those different options available for you. Uh, just let me know what you guys are exactly looking for. I could try to find colors, all kind of good stuff. Uh, obviously, you know, the used car factory doesn't exist, so we do have to be a little bit more lenient if you do want to go the pre-owned route as to what we have in available inventory. Um, but if you do have any other questions, please reach out to me. You can uh, call me directly or text me. Uh, I'll give you my cell phone. That's 973-970-8156. Uh, you can also check out my website. Uh, my personal website is www.moparmike.com nj.com i'll put that up on the screen for you just in case and uh yeah so hopefully i'll hear from you guys soon and hope you guys stay safe and like i said before whether or not you guys want to do the majority of the process online and through phone first uh, or if uh, you guys feel comfortable coming on in uh, we are masking up i'm sanitizing my workstation between every single client and i have one use pen so don't say you didn't ever get anything for free once you come in you know you'll have a um official Mopar mic pen and uh, that'll be yours to keep uh, so uh, we're trying to do everything we can here to keep everything nice and clean for you uh, once again if you have any questions give me a call 973-970-8156 and remember it's Mopar no car have a good one